Watch it, guys. If you're looking for an all-in-one home network solution, then look no further than the QNAP solution, which is the QMIRO Plus 201W, which is basically the next generation tri-band Wi-Fi mesh AC2200 uh, with a NAS drive and router all-in-one. And then we have the QMIRO uh, 201W satellite pods, which you can purchase and put them around your home. So this is what you can expect to get in the kit if you buy just two of these items. You've got the QMIRO uh, Plus, which is the 201 version. Now you get your user manual here and setup guide, very easy to set up. You're gonna get a bunch of screws because it is also a NAS unit as well. And we have an ethernet cable and you're gonna get your power cable, uh, which is your uh, free pin plug here for the UK. Yours will be a different plug if you're in another country and a kettle lead adapter on the end there, which is what we call it in the UK. We've got the power brick here, which is the barrel connector, and this will plug into the actual cable and then into your device here. On the other side, we've got the QMIRO uh, 201W. You're gonna get your ethernet cable here and your power adapter for each of the uh, devices that you buy. You can buy as many as these as you like. They're around about 100 odd pounds each. And of course, the router come NAS is a little bit more. So let's take a look at the QMIRO 201W first. Now, this is going to guarantee that you're going to get a smooth and stable Wi-Fi connection throughout your home, depending on how many of these uh, sort of satellites you buy. So you can see here, this is tri-band, which means you're going to allow signal to come out the front and out of the sides here, which is why you have the sort of ventilation uh, vents on the side here this has allowed the signal strength full maximum strength coming out the side and out the front which is going to give you plenty of uh, coverage around your home then we've got a subtle led light on the top here and again with this ventilation system here it's also going to allow airflow in and also allow the signal to come out to, so you get really good connectivity with your wi-fi device we've got the power input here and we also have our reset and we have two Ethernet ports, one WAN and one LAN, which are one gigabit Ethernet ports each. Also, the power draw on here is only 24 watts, and we have a reset and a WPS button on here as well. Now, each of these devices will come with their own USB port, which is really nice, which means you're going to be able to plug in your devices directly into these, and that could be an external drive or USB flash drive, whatever it is you want to plug in here, which will give you access to that data on each of these devices around your home. No more walking all the way up the stairs to plug a USB flash drive or a drive into your router, which is where you normally have your USB drive. So these are all on each individual device here. So I'll put up the full specs here. You can see the CPU is the quad core ARM Cortex A7. There's four antennas in each device. It does support different Wi-Fi standards, A, B, G, N, and AC. It's AC2200 and it does support 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So let's take a look at the actual router slash NAS itself. As you can see here, this is exactly what it looks like. It's not the biggest device in the world, which means it's not gonna take up a lot of space. So if you've been looking to upgrade your home Wi-Fi system in your home, and you've also been looking for some storage solutions, then something like this is gonna be able to do both of those things. It is a mesh system and also a NAS system. You've got them both in one. If you remove the front here, we have two two and a half inch drive bays. Now these are not your standard two and a half inch drive bays. These will take up to five to six terabytes in two and a half inch drive bays. You can see they're a little bit more deeper and thicker than your average uh, standard drive. I'll show you that in a second. But this will accept two and a half inch drives of up to 15 millimeters, which means you can get the higher capacity drives installed in here and i think the maximum of those right now is around about five terabytes which means you can get two five terabyte drives in here which is pretty good for a router slash mesh system slash nas you know it's a pretty decent bit of kit they're very well built from qnap as you can see here but if you want to put two smaller ssds in here you can now the price of these five terabyte two and a half inch drives are not cheap they're 150 pounds here, as you can see so you will need two of those to put in here if you want to use maximum capacity storage i'm not sure if they do any larger ones than that maybe six terabytes i'm not too sure i'll have to check 
But anyway, let's put that back on the front there. So if you do want something like a Plex server or something along those lines, you could run Plex straight off of here, no problems whatsoever. And you'll be able to play all your Plex movies, TV shows and stuff like that directly from this device and also using it as your home uh, mesh system around your home. So let's take a look at the back of the device here. So looking at the back, we do have our uh, fan here, which is going to keep the device cool. And we also have our power button. We do have a WPS button on here. We have two USB uh, ports on the back here, which means you can plug in all of your devices, wherever you want to expand this device, you can do. Uh, but it's a pretty good device for a starting out if you want to get something that does everything in one. So a really nice unit here. So looking at this port here, we do have a 2.5 uh, GBE port on here. We have our power input and our reset on here as well. And we have four uh, 1 GBE ports on the back here, which is very useful indeed for a device of this size. So you've got everything you need here. You've got your router, you've got your mesh system here, and you've got your NAS storage device on here as well. So you could expand these as well. And as I said before, depending on the size of your home would determine how many of these satellite antennas that you would need. I'll put the specs up on the screen so you can see them. So this does have a four core ARM a Cortex A7 processor in here. And it also, the NAS side of it does have four gigabytes of DDR4. And the router has 512 megabytes of DDR3 on it. So you're getting best of both worlds there. So all in all, a pretty decent bit of kit if you're looking for a mesh system and a NAS storage device for all your photos. Maybe you want to sync your phone to it. You can do all that sort of stuff with this device. Very good build quality from QNAP, as you would expect here. Very easy to set up. You don't need to be a network engineer to get these set up. Just head over to the Google Play Store and download the app and set up your device. Choose which device you want to set up, whether it be one of the antennas or the router. Click Start and then go through the on-screen prompts. It will tell you exactly what you need to be looking for when you're setting this up and where to plug in all of your cables. It will tell you basically what light to look for before you continue. And then all you need to do is click on the next and then continue with the connection process. This will connect up to your network and basically you'll be up and running. And then all you need to do is just add the antennas all around your home to connect. And once this mesh system is set up, you will get super fast speeds all around your home and you'll be able to utilize all of that Wi-Fi connection speed that you're paying for around your home by using a system like this. So no more power line adapters or extensions that you're going to plug in the wall for your Wi-Fi adapters. You can get rid of all of these and use something like this and you will get super fast speeds. Now this is a standard Virgin Media router. You can see the signal strength is not that great. And if you've got a large home, then it's not going to be able to reach all around your home and you're going to have dead spots. So let me just show you exactly the download speed here. And I'm standing pretty close to uh, the router here. You can see I'm getting 100 Mbps. And this is using their uh, ISP's router that they send out. It's not that bad, but it could be better by using a better uh, mesh system around your home. Now I'll show you the results here so you can see them. We've got a download speed and an upload speed here. And I'll show you at the end what the difference is between using something like the stock uh, ISP router and using a QNAP system, which is going to give you much better Wi-Fi around your home. And if you have a lot of Wi-Fi devices, you can see that you're going to get much better speeds coming down. We've over doubled our speed. And now we're not doubling our actual speed. What we're doing is utilizing the Wi-Fi connection a lot better. So you only get the speeds that you're paying for. So if you paid for 400 down and you're only getting 100 down on your Wi-Fi network, when you use something like the QNAP Cumiro uh, 201W, you're going to be able to utilize that Wi-Fi speed a lot better. And you'll probably end up getting 400 down instead of getting 100 down, if that makes sense. You can't double your speed if you're not paying for it. You have to you only get the speeds that you're paying for. And that's why this system is so great because you're paying for something and you're not utilizing it. And you can already see the strength of the system. And that's just with one little satellite setup at the moment. And if I put all three of them up 
I'm going to get better coverage around my home. And this is the beauty of mesh network systems around your home. Now, you also, the beauty of this as well is you're getting that NAS storage as well. And again, you can purchase as many as these uh, antennas as you need. They are around about 100 and something pounds each, which means if you've got a large home, you may need two or three of these uh, to get full coverage around your home. Anyway, I'll leave all the information and links in the video description. So if you've not set up a Wi-Fi mesh system in your home yet, then check these out. It's a pretty decent bit of kit. And also it will allow you to utilize your Wi-Fi better that you're paying for from your ISP. And if you've got loads of Wi-Fi devices around your home, then you'll be able to utilize those uh, devices a lot better and get much better connectivity and speeds on those devices by using a home uh, Wi-Fi mesh system from QNAP. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen. Bye for now.